Hi, welcome to Extend Office channel. This is a complete instructional video demonstrating how to create a searchable drop-down list in Excel. This video will show you four methods to set up a searchable drop-down list in different Excel versions. Let's start with the first part, create searchable drop-down list in Excel 365. With the search function, it is much easier to find items in the drop-down list. Excel 365 has introduced this anticipated feature to its data validation drop-down lists. Let's see how to use the search feature in this Excel version. First, we need to create a data validation drop-down list as usual. Here I have a list of city names ranging from A2 to A8 in Sheet 1 that will be used as the source data for the drop-down list. Then I go to Sheet 2 and select the range of cells where I want to insert the drop-down list. And then go to select data. Data validation, data validation. In the opening data validation dialog box, stay in the settings tab. Select list from the allow drop-down list. In the source section, click the extract icon. Select the source data you want to add to the drop-down list and finally click the OK button to save the settings. Now the drop-down list is created. To test whether a drop-down list is searchable, simply click on the cell with the drop-down list and start typing the characters of the item you want to search. The list will instantly filter to match the type text. Then you can select an item you need from the search results. What calls for special attention is that the search starts with the first letter of each word in the drop-down list. In this case, I type SAN in the cell, and the drop-down list filters out cities that start with the search term SAN, such as San Francisco and San Diego. If you enter the character F and R, the drop-down list also filters out the city, San Francisco, because the second word for this city begins with the character F and R. If you input a character that doesn't match the starting character of any word, for example, if I enter C and A, here, no matches will be shown in the list because there is no word that begins with CNA. This feature is only available in the latest version of Excel 365. Let's move on to the second method, creating searchable drop-down list in Excel 2019 and later versions. Assuming you have created a drop-down list in cell A2 of Sheet 2, using data in the range A2 to A8 of Sheet 1, to make this drop-down list searchable, follow the steps below. Here we need a helper column to list the items that matching your source data. In this case, I will create the helper column in column D of Sheet 1. So I select the first cell D1 in column D and enter the column header. Then enter this formula into cell D2 and press enter. In this formula, A2 to A8 is the source data range. And sheet 2, A2 is the location of the drop-down list. You can change them according to your own data. If no item is selected from the drop-down list in A2 of sheet 2, the formula will display all items from the source data. Conversely, if an item is selected in the drop-down list, D2 will display that item as the result of the formula. Now you need to reconfigure the drop-down list. Select the drop-down list cell, then go to select data, data validation. In the data validation dialog box, and under the settings tab, click the extract icon in the source box. The data validation address box will automatically locate the worksheet containing the source data. Now you need to select the cell with the formula you have applied in the previous step. Add a pound symbol to the end of the formula and click the close button. Go to the error alert tab and check the show error alert after invalid data is entered checkbox and finally click the OK button to save the changes. The drop down list in cell A2 of sheet 2 is now searchable. When you type text in the cell, click the drop down arrow to expand the drop down list and you will see the list instantly filtered to match the typed text. Click on any item to output it to the cell. It is to be noted that this method is only available for Excel 2019 and later versions, 
and only works on one drop-down list cell at a time. The third method we are going to show is using Qtools tools to make drop-down lists searchable in all Excel versions. The searchable drop-down list feature of Qtools tools for Excel is available in all Excel versions and works not only on all drop-down lists within a specified range, but also on all drop-down lists in the current worksheet or the current workbook, allowing you to easily search for the desired items in drop-down lists. Suppose you have created a drop-down list ranging from A2 to A8 in Sheet 2, using the data source from A2 to A8 in Sheet 1. To make this drop-down list searchable, you can apply the searchable drop-down list feature of QTools as follows. After downloading and installing QTools for Excel, go to select QTools, drop-down list, searchable drop-down list. In the opening searchable drop-down list dialog box, you need to specify an option you need in the set scope drop-down list. In this case, I need to make drop-down list in a specified range searchable, so I select the specify range option, and select the range. And finally click the OK button. When you click a drop-down list cell in the specified range, a list box appears to the right. Type text to filter the list instantly, then select an item to add it to the cell. This feature supports searching from any position within the words. Now the video comes to the last method, using combo box and VBA code to create searchable drop-down list in all Excel versions. If you simply want to create a searchable drop-down list without specifying a particular drop-down list type, this section provides an alternative approach using a combo box with VBA code to achieve the task. Let's say you have a list of city names ranging from A2 to A8, and now you want to create a searchable drop-down list containing these city names. You can do as follows. Go to the Developer tab. Select Insert. Combo Box. Then draw a combo box in the worksheet. Right-click the combo box and select Properties from the right-clicking menu. In the Properties dialog box, you need to select false in the auto word select field. Specify a cell in the linked cell field. In this case, we enter A12. In the list fill range field, type drop down list without any space. In the match entry field, select the 2FM match entry none option. Close this properties dialog box and turn off the design mode under the developer tab. Now we need to create three helper columns with different formulas. Select a blank cell such as F2 in this case, enter this formula and press enter. Select this formula cell and then drag its fill handle down to cell F8 to get the list of results. In this formula, A12 is the cell that you have specified as the link cell in the properties dialog box, and A2 is the first cell of the source data range. Then select the cell G2 adjacent to the first cell of the first helper column. Enter this formula and press the Enter key to get the result. Select this formula cell and then drag its fill handle down to cell G8 to get the list of results. In this formula, F2 is the first cell of the source data range. Then select the cell H2, enter this formula and press Enter. Select this formula cell and then drag its fill handle down to cell H8 to get the list of results. Now you need to create a name range with another formula. Go to the Formula tab and select Define Name. In the New Name dialog box, type drop down list without any spaces in the name box. Enter this formula in the Refers to box and then click OK. Now you need to turn on the design mode by clicking Developer design mode. Then right-click the combo box and select view code from the context menu. In the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications window, replace the original code with this new code. And then press the Alt and Q keys to close the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications window. Turn off the design mode and then you can test whether the combo box is searchable. Type text in the cell Click the drop-down arrow to expand the drop-down list, 
and you will see the list instantly filtered to match the typed text. Then you can choose the item you need from the filter list. In addition, formula cells are matched based on what you enter in the combo box, so hide them if you don't need to show them. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching.